Hi everyone, this is Meeta. And if you are an owner or manager of a clinic or doctor's office, I've got the perfect spreadsheet for you. Uh, this tracks 20 doctor's offices plus a clinic. So you can track income from consultation fees, testing, and even sales of medical devices. Uh, this is ideal if you run a dental office or a hearing aid center or a visual aid center. You can set up some of the doctor's offices as sales personnel and you can track uh, their commission that you pay for sales of uh, the medical devices. You can also track uh, patient information as well as the date the order was placed, date it's due for delivery, insurance dates. So let's see how this works. Everyone, thank you for joining me. This is a brief demonstration of my 20 doctor's office clinic tracker. Uh, you can use this to track your income and expenses for each doctor's office or sales personnel in your clinic, as well as to track all the expenses that your clinic incurs. In the settings page is where you would enter your income sources. One of the income sources for this hearing aid center is consultation. The others are the different companies that it is associated with and whose medical devices it sells. You can set this up for a visual aid center or a dental clinic as well. And you can go in and change any of these uh, income categories simply by going into the box and typing in. Uh, say, for example, one of our income sources is testing. You can also change any of these expense categories as you like. You can go in and change it to anything as any other expense. Next, we come to the vendor settings tab. Over here, you can go in and enter the names of all your vendors. I've included 50 vendors that you can enter. You can enter all the information related to each vendor. And this will show up as an automatic drop down list in your expenses tab so that you don't have to go in and repeatedly type it in, saving you time. Next, we come to the office settings page. This is where you would enter the names of all the different doctor's offices. And you can also enter names of your different sales personnel who are responsible for the sales of the medical devices. To the right, you would enter the contact information, uh, email address, and the start and renewal dates if you like. This is all optional information that uh, you would enter for your own record keeping. And further to the right, this column calculates the total number of patients. If you enter the returning patients and new patients for each doctor, you get to see the total patients uh, for that doctor, and this is very helpful in keeping tabs on your total patient count. There is also space for notes uh, to your right, so you can enter any notes as you like. And over here to the left is the office code column, and this is basically a shortened version of the doctor's office. Uh, name. Um, it should not be more than 12 characters so that it shows up neatly on the dashboard. Now we come to the dashboard. Uh, the dashboard gets automatically populated from all the transactions that are entered in the income and expenses tabs. You get a summary by month for all of your offices combined. You get a year-to-date summary for each of your offices. Then you get a summary by month for each office a summary of all your expenses for each office, then a breakdown by each income source for each office, a breakdown by all of your expense categories for each office, and of course, all offices combined. Then you also get the commission earned by each office on a monthly basis. There's also a graph at the end, which shows you the total income, expenses, and profit earned from each office. Now we come to the income tab. This is where you would record all your income related transactions. For example, let's say a patient uh, comes in, John Smith. His visit date is say November 5th. The visit date is important to enter because the dashboard will pick it up from the visit date out here. Next, we come to the office. Uh, this is a drop-down menu so that you don't have to repeatedly type in and this drop-down menu gets picked up from your office settings office code column 
So let's say that this patient went to the sales personnel, Sam Jones, and he chose some hearing aid devices from Hear America. And say the cost was $6,000. He ordered two units. And this is where you would enter the order date. This is optional and helps you to record the order date any date due by insurance say the insurance will be after a few days um, say November 8th and this is the date by which delivery is expected say this would be November 15th and say the commission for this is 10% this is where you'd enter it and the 600 would be the commission due to the salesperson you can also enter the order code if you like and any other notes over here to the side. Um, all of this is optional and on the top you will see that the total income gets summed up as well as the total commission due. And now that we entered the $6,000 for Sam Jones, you will see in the dashboard in November the total income that we received is 6000 and this was from Sam Jones. This also shows up in your total income in the year to date summary as well as in your monthly summary for November. You will also see that the commission that Sam Jones earned also shows up in the monthly commission section in the dashboard. Here in November he has earned $600 and this shows up under Sam Jones 600 and the other doctor's offices also show the respective commissions earned uh, for the months that uh, the commission was earned. Next we come to the expenses tab and over here are all the expense transactions. Um, say for example we go and enter November 15th and the clinic is the one bearing the expense. Say we paid electricity and the amount was $500 and you have a vendor FPL um, next say we again it's the clinic which paid commission of $600 uh, to Sam Jones and these expenses will also show up in the dashboard. As you can see in November, the total amount of expenses is $1,100, which is part of selling and general expenses towards commission paid and electricity. I hope you found this video useful. I will be leaving a link to the spreadsheet in the description and comment section below. Uh, do please leave me your questions, comments and suggestions. You can also contact me through my website moneyusage.com. I hope you subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my videos. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.